Hey folks, what's going on? Uh, this is the third episode or the third video in a day spent traveling the levees of the San Juan King Valley and, uh, you know, kind of going over bridges and doing some drone and still photography on some bridges out there. This is the third video. This is the Walnut Grove Bridge, okay? Uh, I'll put a link in the banner up here uh, so that you can uh, link to the other videos and see them also. But let's take a look at this Walnut Grove Bridge. Uh, I did the Isleton Bridge last week, and these two bridges are really, really similar. Um, and I had made the point that uh, Joseph Strauss, who did the Golden Gate Bridge, also designed or engineered or built uh, also these uh, this bridge and the Isleton Bridge also. So that's pretty, pretty unique. Uh, though this bridge is not very far um, north from the Isleton Bridge. It is higher at sea level. This bridge here is, uh, I think it's tw it's 22 feet, yes, 22 foot above sea level. So that's kind of interesting. It's a little bit higher. Um, the deck width on this one is 24 foot wide, and the Isleton Bridge was 17 foot wide. So this is a little bit wider, and I know because I've been across this bridge in a big gas truck, so I, I definitely know which one is wider. They both have steel decks, uh, steel plates. Uh, you know, this one certainly isn't as, you know, aesthetically pleasing as the Isleton Bridge. Um, this one here is like an old workhorse, man. And, and you know, that proves my point also that according to bridgehunters.com, as of 2009, this bridge receives uh, an average daily amount of traffic of 6,000 you know, 6,626 cars. That's a lot. Uh, the Isleton Bridge, on the other hand, which is a little further south, as of uh, 2009, only receives 2,150 cars approximately. So this one is a, a more traveled bridge. Uh, I'm not sure why, but uh, that, those are a couple interesting facts about that, you know. Um, this bridge here was also built in 1950, and the Isleton Bridge down the uh, road from it uh, was built in the 30s. So, uh, you know, but look at this incredible bridge. There are some differences uh, between this one and the other one, though they look really similar, you know, but look at all this, these bolts and that steel, you know, uh, deck plating down there for the cars to drive on. Uh, you know, this one here, I'm not sure which one the control house is. There's three structures on this bridge. There's the one you see here and two at the other end. I'm not sure which one is actually where the control operator sits. But, um, you know, you can see as we pan down, there's two other structures there. Uh, like I say, I don't know which one is the control. Um, it, I would imagine it was the one up over the road there because it has some, it has windows. <laughs> it helps when you're operating a bridge that you have windows, I imagine. I've never operated one, but I can, I can see how it would be a benefit to have a few windows. So <laughs> anyway, but look here at, uh, you know, this is a, a workhorse, man. It's got dust on it and it's got fading paint and, uh, you know, you can see all those big rivets and just really cool, man. You know, uh, bridges to me, when I see a bridge, you know, I think of the, the mining process that went into creating the steel, you know, the machining that went into forming these pieces of of metal uh, and, you know, all their beams and, and you know, different shapes that uh, of steel that are required to build something like this. Somebody's idea, you know, somebody's art, somebody's engineering. There's just so many things that went into building something like this, uh, you know, and the first steps are mining the, the materials, you know. It's just a testament to what people can do, um, you know, and what we can accomplish, uh, you know, it may seem like a simple bridge, but it's just an incredible feat when you look at it and think about it in, in, in that light. It's really neat. But, you know, here's the Sacramento River. Plenty of boat traffic here, man. Uh, plenty of boat traffic, too. And you'll notice those two towers, the TV towers in the back there, one of those is 1,600 feet and the other one is like 2,200 feet. I was talking to a guy back there, and those are super high antenna structures. But anyway, back to the bridge. And you can see in this video the amount of traffic that's passing on this bridge, you know, just as I'm doing the, the drone footage. It's it's a heavily traveled bridge. Um, you know, and there's the two structures I was talking about. It may be the structure, the one on the bottom is the control operator's uh, quarters. I, I'm not sure. Um, but it has three structures. This bridge has three, you know, uh, structures on it. 
and the Isleton Bridge also it had one two I think it had I think it had three also I don't recall but I'm not sure what those two that are raised up off the road are uh, maybe storage or some tor sort of mechanical room or something like that but anyway this is just a really cool bridge look at all those birds got to be careful of the birds when you're doing this drone stuff man because they uh you never know which direction they're going to go or how it's going to go down with them <laughs> but look man uh you can see the age and the and the wear on this bridge and bridgehunter.com gives a sufficiency rating i'm not sure what that means but the sufficiency rating on this bridge is 39.4, and it's actually higher than the Isleton Bridge, um, which was 33.5. I'm not sure what the sufficiency rating is, but uh, this one has a higher suffic sufficiency rating. <laughs> but anyway, you know, guys, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to have some more videos just like this uh, of some of these bridges that cross the Delta. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are finding some value in this. Uh, I have still images on my website, insightfulimagery.com. You can support me by buying my art. I sell metal prints and ceramic coffee mugs on my website. Uh, and my channel is all about photography and drone footage and still footage. Take care.